I was uh, actually I became interested in uh, researching within architecture, uh, in particular looking at uh, the profession and the evolution of our profession uh, within the economical setting. And I found it that in Denmark it was a very interesting case because being a foreigner, uh, yeah, it was interesting for me to to see the the welfare state condition and setting. I'm an architect. I graduated in uh, at the Polytechnic University of Milan in 2011, and then I licensed uh, in. Uh, in Milan. Uh, I started my PhD in Aarhus uh, at the Aarhus School of Architecture in 2016 and uh, I just ended the last Thursday <laughs> and uh, yeah from, from 2016 also I'm teaching uh, and um, researching at the DIS study abroad program in Copenhagen. My primary objective is also to make the practices aware of the condition they are working and also of all the condition they are accepting to so somehow to make their practice sustainable and uh, also in the, in the very sense of sustenance. So to generate a turnover, they are accepting different, this different conditions, both at the employee's side, let's say, but also the employer's side are accepting a lot of uh, conditions to operate. So my research was really meant to identify uh, those conditions, identify different modes of architectural production and make practices aware of that. I think that especially Especially from the 90s, the Scandinavian countries are operating widely in an international setting, in a global setting, and this means accepting uh, conditions that are maybe beyond their own welfare uh, setting uh, as, a, yeah, a, as a net of protection towards workers or towards the work itself. So, yeah, with neoliberalism, I meant really this overlapping between national uh, policies and also international policies as the European one.